Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a perfume review. And the Eau de Parfum that I'm going to be reviewing is Valentina Pink by Valentino. True to the name Valentina Pink, the box is very pink. And when you open the box, the perfume inside is yet again very true to name. And it is very, very pink. Now, I've personally never seen this perfume in any stores, but I have seen a couple of other YouTubers mention it in a favorites or in a haul and the way that it has been described sounds like something that I would be really into. Before I get into the notes and everything about this perfume, I just have to say, this packaging is a little weird. I do like that it is a matte finish and completely opaque. I don't think I have any other perfume that looks like this. The design of the bottle itself gives me very Georgia O'Keeffe vibes. If you don't know who Georgia O'Keeffe is, she's the woman who painted all of those flowers that are actually supposed to represent lady bits but they're flowers, and they're lady flowers. And this looks like a lady flower. I know that's a little bit inappropriate, but that is all I see when I look at this packaging. And I've had other people agree with me that that is, that is what this packaging conjures up the image of. I don't know if that's what they were going for, especially with naming it pink. It just, it had to be said because that is part of my honest review of this. This looks like something Georgia O'Keeffe would wear. Now we're into the part of the review where I have to admit that this is not my favorite perfume. I'm a little bit disappointed in it, but I can see why others would like it. I'm just upset that I heard it talked about on YouTube, described as a scent that I would enjoy, to find out that it is completely not my type of scent. All of the people that I heard talking about this perfume described it as youthful, girly, vanilla, sweet, delicious, berries, all of these types of scents that sound like I would appreciate them. And this is why many YouTubers say, do your own research, find out for yourself whether you're gonna like something or not. And even online, it sounds like something that I would still like. But in real life, this perfume is totally not my type of scent. And also, I know perfumes smell completely different on everyone, so yet again, what I don't like, maybe you're going to love. But for me personally, this perfume goes straight up rose and peony and flowers and just I smell like a bouquet of roses and that is my least favorite type of perfume. I hate smelling like flowers. Even on Fragrantica this is described as a fruity floral gourmand. I don't smell any of the gourmand on me. Top notes are strawberries, blackberries, and musk. The middle notes are May Rose, Centifolia Rose, and Rosebuds, and the base is composed of Praline, Amber, and Cashmere Wood. So on me, I don't get any of that base. I'm missing out completely on the Praline and the Cashmere Wood and the Amber. When I first spray this, it smells like I just released 50 dozen bouquets of roses on like I smell like a florist shop on Valentine's Day. After a few minutes, I do get a little bit of the strawberry but it's still engulfed mainly by floral notes and I start to smell more of the peony. If you're somebody who likes floral perfumes, you will love this because it is definitely a floral. I don't understand why everyone is saying that it's like gourmand and sweet and vanilla. As for the longevity of this perfume, I would say it has about a moderate longevity. It'll last you throughout a work day or something. It's not like super insane lasting power. It also doesn't wear off super fast. It's pretty moderate with its longevity. And as for the sillage of this perfume, it is pretty close to the body. I would say it's moderate in sillage as well. Valentina Pink is definitely more of a spring, maybe summer scent, but definitely spring. And it's also a very daytime scent. It's light, fresh, almost powdery. I'm not gonna say powdery exactly because I know some other perfumes are definitely powdery. This perfume is a very soft scent to me. It is very light and kind of like cloudy. I can see this reminding somebody kind of of like when the seasons change and everything is kind of blossoming and you're spring cleaning and you've done all your laundry and your house smells clean and crisp and linen and fresh and cottony and soft and clouds and all of these light words, kind of soft like a flower petal. So I think that's about all I have to say about Valentina Pink by Valentina. I hope you guys enjoyed this review even though I'm a little bit like, mm, not really my favorite. I tried to give as much information as I could about the perfume, especially for those of you out there who do enjoy yourself a good floral fruity scent. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up so I know that you enjoy my perfume reviews. In the comment section down below, you should let me know what your favorite perfume is, but because of the packaging. Not because it's your signature scent and it's your favorite smell, 
but you just love how it looks. If you guys would like to keep up with me on all of my social media platforms, I will have links to them all in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should, so you're here for my next video, and I'll see you guys then. Bye. I am the most basic of basic white girls. Give me my pumpkin spice, yes. But apple spice is just as good. I'm pretty sure I have like apple spice lotion, just. <sighs> we need like smell-o-vision.